Hello everyone, thanks for joining Simply Sharice. Come go along with me on a shopping trip to get some pots for the new plant babies. Hey guys, this is Sharice of Simply Sharice. How's everybody doing today? I am at my local old time pottery and I came here today to see if I can try to find some little pots for some of my new babies. So, wanted to bring you guys along with me and let's see what we can find. Now I do have some little babies. I'm not looking for any like super expensive pots. I'm not looking for any like heavy duty pots because right now I just wanna find something really simple to put those Birkins in that I just recently propagated. So I wanna find something simple to put that in, to put the nursery pot inside of. And I have some other little bitty two inch potters that my bestie gave me with some Hoyas in it. So I just wanna find something decorative for that. So come go along with me, let's see what we can find. One essential we always need is drip pans. So I need to get a couple of these. I'm gonna get a couple of those. I'm gonna get the smaller ones. So I'm gonna get, what is that, four? I'm gonna get four of those. And there, here is this little pot I found earlier. $12.99. Um, it does have the holes in it and it has a little stand to go with it. I have a plant that I want to put in here that I haven't showed you guys yet. So I need to pot it up and we can do that this evening. I'll do a video on that later on this evening. So yep, that's that. Let's see what else we can find. So what do you guys think about pots like these? that has the little hole at the bottom has anybody ever had good success with these pots and not getting root rot or anything i usually use these outside in the summertime and i've never had good success with those so drop me a comment below to let me know if anybody ever uses these and if they have good success One thing I just want to say real quick, I just had this really lovely conversation with this lady in the store and her name is Miss Peggy Ann and she is a woman of wisdom. I don't like saying old people, but she's a woman of wisdom and we were talking and she just gave me like so much garden advice because I have a lot of land at home that I am trying to build up with flowers and bushes and shrubs and I don't want too many annuals. I prefer to have perennials, but just a whole bunch of stuff. So take time to talk to people when you're in the store and listen to some of the advice that they have to give because some of it is really coming from a really good place. And she gave me a lot of good tips. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with my garden in spring. Can't wait for this spring because you guys will be coming outside with me this spring. So yeah, let's, let's see. What else we can find? I don't really see too much anything else in here that I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to go to At Home, which is a store. It's called At Home here in my area too. So we got one more aisle. Let's see what's over there. Okay, I'm about to come up on a classic set of pots. Tell me what you guys think about these. Terracottas. Terracottas. I have a lot of terracottas in... Well, I'm not gonna say a lot. I got a couple of terracottas in my house now, but not a whole lot, but I like terracottas, but I'm, I want something a little more aesthetically pleasing, even though they're like really cute and simple and they're always inexpensive. And especially here at Old Time Pottery, like this one is $1.99. This is a four. 0.3 inch Let's see four point is backwards I'm sure but that's a 4.3 inch pot and I think that's the smallest yep that's the smallest that they have and then you see those big massive ones back there those are huge see that those are huge I don't know how big that one is but that's huge but anyway so yeah, I couldn't really find what I really wanted. Nothing really jumped out at me. So let's go check out. Okay, look, get that little baby blender. Oh my God, this 
this is a 2.8 inch and it's 99 cents look at that and then i found this one too i just came around the corner this one's a dollar 99 it's 3.4 inches but look at that that is so cute i have a little bitty um oh my god i can't remember what that was my best friend just gave me i can't remember but i know she gave me something this small so i think i'm gonna buy a couple of these because i think this is cute that's cute and i kind of like that one too but do i want to pay two dollars i don't know but i do want to pay 99 cents for that okay y'all like i said i'm at old time pottery and they're having a 75 percent off sale right now and these are 75 percent off and you can see the original price was 99 then they knocked it down to 59 so if i get this table it's gonna be like 15 dollars and i was thinking about getting two of these to put in my living room but they have a gray color that i've already set to the side and i'm thinking about it what y'all think drop a comment below Tell me, is this something that you would get or does this look old woman-ish? My bestie says this looks like something that would be in her granny's house. But I promise, I think it's really going to look good. If not, at least I'll have two tables at home that I can do something else with. This is a glass top, so they're really heavy and durable. For 15 bucks, you can't beat it. Hey, y'all. Okay. I couldn't start my recording back until I got back in the car because my phone was on 2%. Two. But anyway, I ended up not even getting those tables. Once I thought about it, it was going to make my living room too big. So I just ended up getting the plant trays and the one little planter I showed you. So now let's go to at home and see if we can find spots. If we can't find them pots, we're going back home. Okay, y'all, I am now at, at home, and this is the pot section that I see so far. It's not very big, so let's see. I don't, oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's a whole other section back here on this back wall. Cause I was about to say. So let's go back here and go look back here. So let's see. Okay, I think I found something. I think I found some stuff. Let's see, there are some little small ones. See those, they're really small. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Oh, some of this stuff even says like 50% off. Let's see what we see. Oh, this is cute. 50% off. And it's still gonna be like eight bucks. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can find. Okay, y'all, I know I said I wasn't gonna get any terracotta, but look at this one. It's like painted on the outside. So I think I like this one. And it's only five bucks. It is, let me see if I can see how many inches. Six inches. This is six inches. And it has like some chalk paint on the outside. So yeah, this is different. So I know I'm gonna get this one. We'll get this one. And here's another terracotta. I've never seen this color. It truly is like the color of clay. I like this one too, and this one's five dollars too. But it's not deep enough for me. Like it's bowed out too much. I need something that's gonna be a little bit deeper for the pots that I, the nursery pots that I have. But there's another terracotta, and that one's five dollars too. Okay, now I'm on an actual aisle. They have some pretty decent pots. Whatever. The prices, the prices are decent. Um, 
but I haven't really seen anything yet that completely sticks out. So I did find a couple and I'll show you those at the end of it, at the end of the video. I did find a couple of clearance pieces. So let's keep looking. These are some beautiful pots. I love the artwork. Not quite what I'm looking for inside of my living room, but they're really beautiful. Maybe when I get ready to do my porch for the spring, I can come back here and get something. So let's keep looking. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. At home, they have a lot of beautiful pots. A lot of different colors, um, big pots, small pots outside pots indoor pots porch pots freeze resistant pots but i was mainly looking for stuff to go inside of the house and i'm on a tight budget right now because i'm trying to save and i have some things that i have to save for so i'm not looking to spend like a whole bunch of money and right now like i said i'm just doing stuff for the starter plants so i don't want to spend a whole bunch of money because i know that eventually i'm going to have to repot them again but this is, I did get this. This is ceramic. It's 50% off. Um, the original price is $11.99. And that's a pretty size pot. It's something simple. And I got it in this green. I got it in this like red cranberry color. I got a smaller version of the green. And I did get the terracotta one. This one was not on sale, but it was only $5. So um that's okay i think i did see it i'm gonna go back because i think i did see another one like this terracotta one that was like in the clay color and not the traditional terracotta color so that's really about it um i'm gonna go check out go home get some planting done and then we can have a talk so that has been my store journey for today um and i'll see you guys when I go back home. Okay y'all, so a few hours have passed. The sun has set. I am back home and let's talk about pots. So like I said, um, I showed you all the pots that I bought earlier. This by far is gonna be my favorite pot. Um, I just like it. I like the aesthetic of it. Like I said, it's a terracotta pot. And it's painted. See, it's like the whitewash paint on it. So I like that. I'm not sure exactly which one of my plants I'm gonna put in here, but I'm definitely gonna put something in here. And then I was ultimately able to find like a really, really tiny little pot. And I can't immediately find right now the little pot that the little nursery pot. That I was gonna put in here but this is the tiniest one that I found and I'm not sure how many inches this is maybe two inches maybe two inches but anyway so um, I just want to talk about pots real quick in some of the research that I have been doing, I have found that a lot of people say that a terracotta pot is the best kind of planter to have your flowers in or your plants in, only because it's breathable. Um, oxygen and air and everything can still flow through the terracotta because it's porous versus a um, pot like this. Um, it's a ceramic pot, but it's glazed on the outside. You can either even get some terracotta pots that's glazed on the outside. You know, when it's really shiny like that, um, they say that sometimes airflow doesn't go through there the best way. So what I will be doing with this is making it, you know, putting a nursery pot on the inside of this. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to use because I don't think I have any nursery pots right now that can fit snugly into this. So I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. I'm gonna set this to the side. And probably what's gonna happen is once some of the flowers, the three flowers or plants that I have water propagating, once they'll be ready, once they're ready to be transferred, 
to soil. I'll probably put that in one of those. But um, right now, this is my favorite planter. I've had this planter for quite some time. I really need to give it a good wash. Um, this planter I actually got from Lowe's. It came with a flower, a plant already in it, but as you can see, it's not in there anymore. I don't even remember what was in here, but I always kept it and I kept it to the side and it's kind of old and it even has a crack. I don't know if you can see, you see that crack and it, you can see the crack right there too. So I'm really gentle with this one and I kind of, you know, keep that off to the side, but what I'm probably gonna do, like I said, with some of these is put some of the new babies in it. Once it's ready to go into soil, you guys remember this one from the other day, the golden. So I've put this one in the soil. It's only been in the soil for a couple of days, but I can already see a new root shoot coming out. So I'll probably put that one in there. And then here's the other fellow. And I don't know if you all remember that new leaf that I was trying to tell you about that's coming. So it actually has gotten taller and it's just been like three days. So I need to change this water. This water is beginning to get a little bit murky. But other than that, the, um, the nodes, <laughs> believe it or not, are getting longer. And then my favorite one, Here is the pink princess and this one right here I don't really want to touch it too much because um, my understanding you're really not supposed to you know mess around with the new ones that are coming and unfurling um, that one has unfurled or unraveled a significant amount since I got it the other day when I got it I got it last Saturday so it's been about five days. Um, so it is definitely coming along really well. Those nodes are beginning to get longer as well. And when I was looking at this, um, I'm just like really, really excited to see what this is going to do. So I'll probably put this in this one. I think that'll complement that really well. So I'll probably put that one in that one. So that was my flower pot haul of the day. Tell me what is your type of flower pot to use? Please make sure you comment below. And while you're commenting below, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you can know when I post new videos. So down below in the comments, tell me what is your favorite type of planter to use? Do you just put your plants straight into the planter or do you do like I do and put it in a nursery pot and then put it in the planter? Because see, like this one, nursery pot, planter. So what do you do? What's your suggestions on these? And what is your favorite planter material? So until the next video, I appreciate you guys for coming. Oh, wait, before I forget, this is the pot that I told you guys I was getting and I was going to plant the flower in that I had got earlier. And this is the one that has a stand. Now I put it in the tray because I just watered it. So that's the stand, but I put it in the tray because it was dripping out water. But see, look at that. I like that. I think it's cute. I think it's aesthetically pleasing. And I'm just gonna sit that on the table and see what that does. This was another plant gift that I got from the bestie. And I'm excited to see this grow. <laughs> and I know it's kind of like, if I'm not mistaken, this is like in the cactus family. I'm gonna have to do some research on this to learn how to properly take care of this. If any of you guys have any tips on how to take care of this luscious beauty, please make sure you comment below and leave me a comment to let me know. So 
until next time, I appreciate you guys for coming. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this journey. I promise each video is going to get better and better. The more I go along, I'm going to get better equipment, better audio, better lighting, better setup, better music, better everything. So, and I can only do that with you guys' help. So make sure you stick around and continue to go with me on this journey. Until next time, it's Simply Sharice. Have a great night.